Okay, so do you want to pass algebra? Well, hopefully the answer to that question is no. You just don't want to pass algebra with any old grade like a C plus or 75%. You want to ace algebra with a great grade like an A plus or 100%. And uh, that's definitely possible, but you better understand this topic in algebra very, very well. And that is functions. So let's see how much you know about functions by taking a look at this question right here. So we have this function f of x is equal to 3x over 4x minus 20. And we want to figure out uh, what happens when we evaluate this function for 5. So when we uh, take this function and we evaluate it for 5, what is the result? Now, there's a little detail that uh, I need to kind of state about this function. It is under the set of real numbers. And if you don't even know what that means, I'll fully explain all of this in just one second. But if you know the answer to this question, well, go ahead and put that into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second. Then, of course, I'll fully explain all the various aspects to this problem. Again, functions is a critically important topic, not only in algebra, in, but uh, in all of mathematics. Okay, but uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, well, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so before I show you the answer again, one more time, uh, we have this function under the set of real numbers. What happens when we evaluate this function for five? Let's go ahead and take a look at the answer. The correct answer is the following. This is not allowed, okay? Uh, this is in terms of this function, uh, being under the set of real numbers, this is a, a situation that's not allowed. So five specifically would not be in the domain of this function. Okay, so hopefully if you have some version of this answer, well, that indicates to me that you know a thing or two about functions, and we have to celebrate by giving you a nice little happy face in A plus a 100% and multiple stars. Matter of fact, if you were in my algebra class, already I can tell you would be getting a grade way better than a C plus, uh, and, you know, you very well uh, just may end up with an A plus. But uh, anyways, uh, we are talking about functions, and functions, again, are tremendously important in mathematics and in algebra, but of course, there's a lot of other uh, topics that you need to master in algebra as well. But uh, let's go ahead and get into this right now. Okay, so again, uh, we have a function, and we're talking about things that you learn in, you know, basic first year algebra. So this is the type of problem, again, that, you know, some of you in like algebra one, certainly algebra two, would need to understand. All right, so f of x is equal to 3x over 4x minus 20. Again, we want to figure out what happens when uh, we evaluate this function for f of 5. But before we um, take a look at this, let's just kind of um, review some basic concepts about functions. All right, so what is a function? Well, this is a huge topic uh, in algebra, and if you're struggling with uh, functions, I'll give you some specific uh, suggestions in a, in a moment. But basically, uh, a function is a rule, okay? It's a rule where we have an input, and then this rule right here, okay, is going to generate an output. So in other words, we're going to put some numbers in, okay, uh, a number into a function. Oftentimes, uh, we can think of a function as a function machine. Matter of fact, I'll kind of uh, sketch this out real quick, real quick, excuse me. So here is our function. So it's like we're going to throw in some numbers, right? We're going to have an input value. And then in this little machine, it's going to do uh, stuff to this number, and then we'll, we'll get a nice output value, All right. So we're going to throw some numbers in, and then this rule, uh, this little machine is going to, you know, do some stuff to these numbers, and then we'll have an output value. So this is the rule, and here is our input, and then after we kind of run our numbers through this little machine, we're going to get an output. Now, again, uh, functions is a huge topic, and there's a lot of different models that you need to understand about functions, and of course, there's a lot more of a technical explanation uh, than the one I just gave you, but in essence, that's what this is. All right, now, what we're going to do here is we're going to practice evaluating a function, which means we're going to plug in a number for x. And when we, uh, we plug in a number for x, we're going to uh, replace these x's right here 
with um, uh, the, that respective number, and then we're going to end up with an output value. Okay, so let's go to practice this right now by uh, finding f of 1. Now, if you just, uh, if you, um, you know, didn't really understand functions, but you understood the concepts as I just kind of explained it, well, then you should be able to figure out what f of 1 is. So what you're going to do is you're going to replace 1 for these x's. You're going to, or you're going to replace uh, these x's with 1, and then you're going to do the number crunching here and see what the output value is. Okay, so let's go to do that right now. So f of 1 would be equal to the following. Okay, so remember these were x's. So here was our x. This was an x, and this was an x. So we're going to replace all these x's with 1. And anytime you're evaluating a function, always use parentheses to replace your value. So this is going to be 3 times 1 over 4 times 1 minus 20. And here we have a lovely numeric expression that we can simplify. All right, so not too difficult. Uh, so f of 1 is going to be equal to 3 times 1, which of course is 3, over 4 times 1 uh, minus 20, which of course is 4 minus 20. And now 4 uh, minus 20 is negative 16. So we have uh, positive divided by a negative. So this whole thing is negative 3 16 So f of 1 is equal to negative 3 16 Okay, so let's just um, make a couple quick observations here. Now, uh, we were able to plug in the value of 1 into this function. Uh, so we're able to uh, plug in 1, and we got an actual number out. So that's really good. That's what we hope to happen in a function. So this means that 1, okay, is part of something called the domain, okay? So again, I'm just kind of rough or, uh, roughly uh, going over some basic, uh, well, actually some really important uh, but basic concepts that you need to understand in algebra. And the domain is the set of all numbers that you can plug into a function because sometimes you cannot plug in certain values into a function as we're going to see here in a second. But if uh, the number, okay, numbers that you can plug in to a function where you actually get an output value, all these set of numbers is called the domain. So one would be a part of our domain. And the output values that are generated by all these input values are it's called the range, okay? So the domain is a set of all, all input values that you can plug into a function, and then all the respective output values is called the range of a function. Again, there's so much more that you need to know about functions, but hopefully you understand these basic concepts. concepts. And uh, now we can take the next step, which of course is having you quickly subscribe to my YouTube channel before we go over uh, this F of 5 situation. Now, um, the reason why I am asking for your support is that I am a math teacher, okay? And as a teacher, the more students I have to teach, well, the happier I am, and I am not afraid to ask for help. And uh, hopefully, you are not afraid to ask for help. And if you're struggling with any aspect of math, whether it's algebra, functions, trigonometry, cal pre-calculus, geometry, whatever the case is, go find help, okay? Find someone that, you know, teaches math in a way you like and understand. In other words, just don't try to figure everything out on your own. I mean, you know, that's good, okay? But there comes a point in time where you need outside assistance. So if I could be any of assistance, right? In other words, if you're getting something out of my YouTube uh, videos, uh, well, then that is fantastic. Uh, subscribe to my channel. That is a way that you can help me help others. And if you're going to do that, hit that notification bell as well. Now, before we finish up, I'm going to just give you some quick uh, suggestions. For those of you that are actually studying functions or algebra, I'm going to leave links to my main courses in the description of this video. So I really teach a lot about functions, a tremendous amount, in Algebra 1, Algebra 2. You'll find those courses, uh, again, in the description. And if you really, really want to study advanced uh, functions, if you will, uh, check out my pre-calculus course. Again, this is a tremendously important topic in mathematics. Okay, so now let's go ahead and take a look at what happens when we try to evaluate this function for 5. All right, so f of 5, what is this equal to? Well, we're going to go ahead and try to evaluate the function for 5. So f of 5 is going to be what? Well, we're going to replace these x's with 5, and then we're going to try to do the number crunching. So this is going to be equal to 3 times 5 over 4 times 5 minus 20. So when we do this math, what happens? Well, we're going to end up with uh, 15 over 
four times five, of course, is 20 minus 20. So we have a problem here in the denominator because 20 minus 20 is zero. And this is a situation that you can never have in mathematics. You cannot divide by zero. So uh, this means that five is not allowed in this function, okay? It's not allowed in the set of real numbers, uh, even like in the set of complex numbers. So the way we would um, kind of um, identify that is to kind of state that, uh, hey, listen, you can put anything into this function. So the domain of this function can be all real numbers with the exception x cannot be five, okay? So one of the things that you do in algebra is to identify the domain and range of functions. Again, this is a big topic, but hopefully this is a little kind of a review, a quick review of these concepts. Again, uh, you can never have zero uh, in the denominator, and any number that causes that cannot be a part of the domain. Okay, so again, if you need help with functions or anything algebra, you know where to look. Also, I have a ton of additional videos on my YouTube channel on this stuff that can help you out. But if this video helped you out to some small degree, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.